All right, look at a map of Houston and you will be able to spot where vehicles are more likely to be stolen. According to the Houston police, it's the area of Gulf Freeway near Edgebrook, then inside the loop on Richmond. It can even happen just outside of your home, a parking garage or in front of a store. But the agencies in place to investigate those thefts say they need one more thing. They need money. KPRC2 investigates Mario Diaz uncovers the Motor Vehicle Task Force has been shortchanged for years now and why it impacts insured drivers just like you. To be woken up at four in the morning with two officers was shocking. A seemingly normal night disrupted by a knock on Mallory Olson's door. You went to bed with the car where? In the garage and woke up with the car not in the garage. Stolen. It doesn't get more personal than that. You definitely feel violated. My car was stolen in 2017. A criminal walked into Mays Middleton's home while his pregnant wife was sleeping, snatching her car keys. Then the family ride. It's terrifying. We've caught, you know, 15 year olds and we've caught 55 year olds. We went for a drive with Tracy Hicks, a sergeant in the Houston Police Department's auto thefts crime task force. We've got to harden our targets. For years, police say the Houston area has been consistently one of the worst in the nation for vehicle thefts. HPD records show the city is on pace to surpass last year's total of 16,085. Crooks a lot of times are looking for the quick and easy and fast. But investigators say solving those crimes isn't always quick and easy. However, a simple fix to funding could help. It was $1 for every policy per year starting in 1991. Galveston County Lieutenant Tommy Hansen says in 1991, one whole dollar from every Texans car insurance policy was earmarked for the Motor Vehicles Crime Prevention Authority to fund the statewide task force. Think about it. Millions of drivers in Texas means millions of dollars. That is until the pool of money split. We lost dedicated fund status, so about 25 cents on that dollar started going elsewhere in state government. So about a decade ago, Austin voted to increase it to $2. Then another hike in 2019 to $4. But we never got the full dollar. Somewhere in the area of around 20 or 21, 21 and a half million dollars. Instead, we're getting 14 million dollars. Despite the fact the task force is still getting a large chunk of change, officers like Hicks and Hansen remain frustrated. They say more money will be put to good use, given the number of stolen cars and trucks in our area. What is the solution? Funding. It's all about funding. Where does it lie? The legislature. But car theft victim Mays Middleton has a plan. It turns out he is the state senator elect for parts of Galveston, Brazoria and Harris counties. I want to add about six million more to get us to 22 million in funding. Senator, you're fighting to get six million more dollars. What would that mean in terms of a solution for this? It's going to be more task force and more investigators is what it means. The task force consists of over 235 investigators, but millions more could increase that number and provide more resources. I would hope that they are putting as much as they can towards preventing this kind of thing, because it's a lot of time, energy, money that gets wasted when you lose a car. Another reason why officials want to see more funding, insurance rates. Mays and others telling KPRC2 investigates a decrease in thefts will help prevent automobile insurance rates from going up. Now, you might be asking yourself whether your car is a target. Right now in the investigate section of click2houston.com, we have a list of the top 10 vehicles stolen in Houston so far this year. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 investigates.